Hello everyone, Pastor Renee Tapoff with Real Life Church, coming from our home to yours to share a psalm for our soul. There's something that shifts when we will magnify and we'll give worth to who God is, and that's exactly what Psalms 18 does. I'm reading from the Amplified and it says, I love you fervently and devotedly, O Lord my strength, the Lord is my rock, my fortress, and the one who rescues me. My God, my rock and strength, in whom I trust and take refuge. You are my shield and the horn of my salvation, my high tower and my stronghold. I call upon the Lord, who is so worthy to be praised, and I am saved from my enemies. Although the cords of circumstances and, and death seem to be surrounding me, and the streams of ungodliness and, and propaganda and messaging are causing a, a torrent of destruction and trying to terrify me. In my distress, when I feel surrounded, I call upon the Lord. I cry out to God for help. And he responds. He hears my voice from his temple. My cry for help comes before his ears. He's attentive. He reaches from on high and he takes me and draws me up out of the many waters that would try to overwhelm me. He rescues me from the strong enemy and from those who are perpetrating harm against me. The Lord is my support and he brings me out into a broad place. He rescues me because he has been pleased with me and he delights in me. Verse 21 goes on to say, as we keep the ways of the Lord and we turn away from wickedness, that he saves us even in the midst of affliction as we humble ourselves. He causes my lamp to be light and to shine. He illuminates in the midst of darkness. Lord, it's through you that we can crush a truth. It's with God's help that we can leap over a wall. And of course, this is symbolism that he will fully equip us to handle whatever circumstance that we're going through because he will carry us. And so that's my heart and prayer to release this over us. God, we love you. We come with wholehearted devotion, fervently in pursuit of you and your presence. And we declare that you are a rock, that you are the strength of our lives, that you are a refuge and a strong tower that we could run to for protection, that your anointing is flowing over us and through us, that although our circumstances are surrounding us, pressing in upon us, we can cry out, we can call out to the name of the Lord and you bend your ear and your tender heart, Lord, is turned towards us and you rescue and you set us in the position to be released into a broad place spiritually that we can receive all that we have need of. So, Lord, we acknowledge who you are in the midst of our struggles, in the midst of our affliction. We humble ourselves and we ask that you would illuminate in the midst of any darkened area of our soul, any darkened area of our mind, of our emotions, of our will, our choices, God. We know that you can shine brightly through us during this time and that your capability will flow through us, that we can have an I, I am able 
to bear up under this with God's help. So Lord, it's with fresh commitment and fresh fervency that we live our lives out for you. So continue to have your way in Jesus' name. We pray. You're in our thoughts and continued prayers.